Friday, which means Q&A. Isn't that right, little boy? Oh yeah, this Christmas reindeer can stay up all year. But first, some updates of what happened behind the scenes at Cinecom. Well, something pretty big happened. We had a meeting with a huge company, an international company that's claimed to be the market leader with their products. Now, after the meeting, we realized that it was going to be a pretty high-end production. And we're talking about a corporate video here, by the way. Now, this week, we had to brainstorm for a scenario first because we were in the running with three other production companies. So we actually had to convince the clients to work with us. So, in other words, I kind of hurt my head this week. I think it's pretty hard to create a good scenario for a corporate movie because you're not only telling a story, but you're also selling a product. So there is the creative challenge of how to wrap up this story around their product. Anyhow, we've sent the scenario in now. Uh, we've been working like two days on this to create a good scenario. And now we have to wait whether we'll get chosen or not. But I will keep you guys updated about this because if we get this project, it will also be very interesting for you guys as I definitely want to make a making of of this video. So I want to share how we will be producing this corporate video. But let's get to the questions. And the first one comes from Cam Cam. And he asks how I create those flippy cards with the, with the text in. Well, it's actually called a lower third title. And I make them in After Effects as After Effects gives me some more options for 2D animations but it's also possible in Premiere. And I actually have a tutorial video about that. You can click in the card up there to check that out. And then the next question comes from... Yeah, never mind. He's asking me how to create this animation he saw in this video that he's linking to. Now, I can't show this video here, probably because of copyright issues, but if you like to, you can click in the card up there to go to that video and see what he means. Anyhow, so he's asking how they did that animation. Well, it's not done in After Effects or Premiere or anything like that, but it's actually made in a dedicated 3D application. Now, there are numbers of uh, 3D applications out there. Uh, some popular ones are 3D Studio Max, uh, Cinema 4D, uh, which is actually integrated inside After Effects. So if you want to get started with uh, 3D animations, etc., and you're already familiar with After Effects, so Cinema 4D might be a good choice then. But you also have some free applications like Blender, and I'm not sure, but I think Maya is also free. Correct me if I'm wrong. And well, in there you can create such things. But I have to say that I don't have that much experience with 3D animations and modeling myself, and that's just kind of because I want to stay away from it. Because it's, for me, I believe it's, it's a completely different world. Um, 3D animations, visual effects, etc. I'm more of a camera editing guy, um, lighting guy, <laughs> and not so much 3D stuff. Um, I believe you need someone dedicated for that. Someone who's really sophisticated in making 3D stuff. And therefore, I also work together with other people that make 3D stuff. Um, it's like working with a camera. You know, everyone can pick up a camera, learn the buttons. It's like a 3D application. You can learn like the different functions, create your model and start your animations. But what is a good animation and what is a good model? That takes years of practice and it's the same with handling a camera. It takes years of practice to realize what is a good composition, uh, where should I set my lighting, etc. So, um, yeah, if you're considering going into the 3D world, know that you're standing in front of a whole new chapter. So that was it again for this week's Q&A. If you have any questions, then pop them in the comments below and I might pick out a few to answer them in my next Q&A video every Friday. Thanks a lot for watching and stay creative. <laughs>